Hello and welcome. We are in the game Dice Cycle, and now we are exploring an alternative ending, or rather alternative story for the girl number four. The number I rolled was four. Four, I see. I just want to know what possibilities lie in store for that girl. A solitary girl who entertained the multitudes, seeking wealth and success. I wonder what kind of potential had been lying in that girl. Well then, close your eyes. Hello, Usatube. The roll of the dice is four. God knows, Earth knows, I know, you know. Welcome. It's the Myth Dustin Usatuber Cycle, live on the Hanabishi channel. Yo! Without further ado, this time I'm gonna verify this. How many people would really notice if Saika went shopping in the city? Something that's been done on TV for ages, the pinnacle of reality TV. It's finally time for me to step up to the plate. So, I'm gonna head into town now. I'm looking forward to it. Alright, you can turn off the camera for now, Metaro. I turned off the camera as Psycho said. Then I looked up. The girl who I had been watching through the video camera earlier, Psycho, was standing there laughing. A Miss Bustin type Usatuber. Psycho. Nowadays, there are probably fewer people who don't know about her existence than those who do. From silly experimental videos to serious investigations, she's gained a high level of recognition for her wide range of myth-busting entertainment. Just a few days ago, her Usatube sub-count surpassed 1 million users, which is truly amazing. And as for myself, I'm helping out as an assistant of that very cycle. I am a member of the Hanabishi channel, her Usatube channel. I am mainly involved in filming, preparing the props, helping with investigation if necessary, and recently I've been doing some video editing. At first, I caused some trouble, but now I can proudly say that I am a proper assistant. I don't get a lot of opportunities to be on camera or stand out, but I feel like I'm better suited for this kind of behind-the-scenes work. That's why I'm happy too, just to be able to be of use to Psycho. Once, a long time ago, my friend Yukimaru almost found out that I was helping Psycho, but I managed to get away with it. That's why the Hanabishi channel is managed by just two people, Psycho and I. Oh, what's up, Metaro? You're laughing all of a sudden. Did you eat something funny? It's nothing, nothing at all. Come on, let's go to the place where we're going to film. That's right. All right, shall we go? Well then, my excellent assistant on the Hanabishi channel, Metaro-kun. I'll be counting on your help today too. Oh, leave it to me. No way, that's amazing. I didn't expect them to actually talk to me like that. Maybe I'm already quite a celebrity? Well, yeah, Psycho's already got a million fans. After the shoot, we were on our way home, exchanging our impress impressions of the day. I know that, but it's different when you're actually face to face with the fans. Hearing it in person is something else, you know? I'm super duper stoked about it. I've been an Usatuber for quite a while, but it's nice to have a change of pace like this once in a while. So, if the reception to this video is good, do you want to do a second one? I don't, me I don't mean around here, I mean to set foot on the other parts of the country. Then we could hear more people's voices, couldn't we? Oh, that's a really great idea! I'll give it a shot, even if the ratings aren't good. As you say, let's see what happens when I do the same thing in another part of the country. Cause that's a worth investigating too. 
Psycho grinned cheerfully. That smile hasn't changed since we met. Come to think of it, the first time we met, you talked to me while laughing like this. At that time, I think it was an attempt to use balloons to fly in the sky. Looking back on it now, it's really silly, and I'm sure I felt the same way at that time. But the unexpectedness is probably what makes Psycho so appealing. I, for one, am one of those people who was fascinated by Psycho. Hey, Metaro, can I ask you something? With an unusually serious voice and expression, Psycho opened her mouth. What's up, Psycho? Hypothetically, let's say there is a person I just can't forgive. What if that guy messed up your life and you hated him so much you wanted revenge? What would you do, Metaro? What's up with that question? Come on, please answer it. It can be helped. If you hate someone enough to want revenge, huh? Would I be able to forgive them? I tried to think and imagine it. No, actually it's fine. After a minute or two, Psycho opened her mouth. My bad, Metaro. Sorry for asking you such a weird question all of a sudden. Please forget about this. Psycho said in her usual expression. But to me, it seemed like she was forcing herself somehow. No, I've got an answer for you. So I'm going to tell you my own answer. Metaro? I think revenge is not something you do for someone else, but something you do for yourself. So hypothetically, if I had someone I wanted revenge on, I probably wouldn't be able to forgive them, I might even kill them. Not for anyone else, but for myself. But... <laughs> I see, I see, I see, I get it now. Hey, Metaro, as I thought, we two guys are really similar. I'm sure you think you're more of a bystander, but deep down you're just like me. That's why you're deserving of being called my partner. Metaro, in the future, if I, would, if I ever dye my hands red in revenge, will you be the one to hold the camera? You sure ask an unpleasant question, Psycho. I just hope it doesn't come to that, but if it does, I'll probably properly capture your figure. Because I'm a member of the Hanabishi channel. Oh, I knew it. We two guys are really alike. We sure are. Normally, people wouldn't answer that question. Ah, really? You're the best, Metaro. You're the best. I love you. <laughs> well then, my wonderful assistant on the Hanabishi channel, Metaro-kun, I'll be counting on you from now on as well. Capture everything, whether trivial or important, it doesn't matter. And so... Let's work together to create the greatest entertainment. Now, oh, of course. I'll make sure I capture a glorious image on camera. From now on as well, let's keep up the good work cycle. So, in the previous series, in the previous chapter, this is the perfect timing to <laughs> elaborate on that. She was also Usatube. Uh, and uh, things didn't really work out that well because she wanted uh, revenge on Yukimaru and Nana. And uh, right now there is no Yukimaru, no Nana in the picture, so I guess this is why she is stable and uh, does not want uh, revenge. Oh, right now, it, well, she says she wants, but she does not execute the revenge. Let's say it like this. Oh, yeah, I chose the perfect uh, timing. If and inseparable Hanabishi. This was an alternative story for the girl number four. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you like and have a great day. Bye.